hello what's up today in today's video i want to show you how you can use revit tools now let's get started to use those tools you go to modify and you see several of them here i'm going to give you a few in this video then i'm going to complete it later on so without wasting much of the time let's get started now the first thing we'll do is let's draw our wall then we'll be using this wall to do some of the things okay now the first one i want to give you is extend if you hover your cursor over it you see trim slash extend multiple element now the function of this is when you are extending once you have picked the tool you can continue to be extending or trimming without the command going off let me show you an example if i pick this now then what i'm going to do is to click on where i am going first then before i click on those elements you can see it's going continuously the command is still on and if i want to extend if i want to trim all this end now what i will do is to click empty space so that the ones i've done here will now be the command will off so the command is now deactivated now so i'm going to click here to activate the command again then i'll be going like that all right now if i want to trim it to this end what i'll do is to click on the empty space again then click on where i want to go and see how it works okay if you are done you can right click and click cancel or you go to modify you go to this arrow that shows modify then the next one we'll look at is this scale we'll look at it later let's look at trim extend single this one is similar to the first one we use the difference is that this one is only single meaning once you have done one the command will be off you have to go and pick it again take for instance I want to extend this wall to this line so if i pick single i click here then i click on where i want to go i click on the element i mean or take for instance i want to trim this this wall if i click here then i click behind if i want to trim this this very wall i click here i click behind the command is off i have to click empty i have to click it where i want to go single you do you do it single by single okay now the next one we'll look at is array array work like copy is similar to copy and offset take for instance maybe i have a wardrobe somewhere let me use extend to cut this one off okay maybe I, this is my wardrobe and i want to multiply this line to fill this space so what i'm going the fastest way to do it is to use array 
if I use offset, it will take much time. So I'm going to select it, then click on array. Then I'm going to increase the number to like nine. I want to uncheck this group and associate. Then I'm going to check last. I'll pick this, then take it to the last item. And that is done. Okay. I think you know the purpose of array now. Or take for instance, I have an item that I want to array. Let me just draw an element that I can array. Okay. Take for instance, I have um, ceiling noggins that I want to array. Normally they are like this. Uh, let me offset this one first. I offset at 50. Then let me trim. Okay, let me trim this. Let me trim this. Okay. Now, what I want to do is, I want to I want to copy this line, this element at a specific distance. So, I'm going to highlight it. I'm going to go to array. Then I'm going to set the number to like 20. Then, in this case, I'm not going to check last. Rather, I will check second. So that the gap between the first and the second will be determined. So, I'm going to go by 600. 600 mm. You leave your mouse and type 600. Then you press enter. You can see. It has array them at a specific distance. So since I don't need all this one, I'm going to delete this one. This one's okay. That's another way of doing array. Then the next one we'll look at is split. Now, if you hover your cursor over it, you see shortcut as SL. It is used to to cut an element. Take for instance, I want to cut this wall. What I will use is split. And if I select it, you will see a symbol of shizu. So I'm going to cut it. And if I cut I can delete the inner segment. Then another way you can do it is you pick and you check this delete inner segment and as you are splitting the inner segment will be deleted automatically. The inner segment will be deleted automatically. Okay. That is that. Then the second one you are seeing here is also split this one is with a gap now if you look at it it has created a, a little gap automatically once you split it will create a little gap that is the difference between this and this if i pick this if i split there is no gap created okay then the next one we will look at is mirror this you can see there are two type of mirror here this mirror by drawing axis then this mirror by picking axis if i pick this that means i want to draw an axis so what i'm going to do is i'm going to highlight the elements i want to mirror and go to 
mirror then i'm going to draw the axis okay let me undo that to use the second command in this second one i am not going to draw rather i am going to use an existing axis in that case i'm going to pick instead of draw so if i highlight this i'll go to pick then and because i have an existing axis already which is the the center of this wall so i'm only going to pick the center of this wall and it will mirror this and what if i want to mirror it on this end if i highlight it i go to the same one and pick this axis it will mirror it to that end and let me undo that if i don't want it to have a copy if i want to mirror it without a copy then i'm going to uncheck this copy at this option bar in that case there will be no copy after mirroring it okay then the next one we'll do we'll look at is offset offset works similar to copy it copies an element at a specified distance take for instance i have a cycle i have a cycle that i want to offset so if i pick offset and i want it to go at a specific distance like two to five and if i select it uh, and if you select it it will show you in dotted line the area it is going to place the copied version okay all right now assuming i don't want to have i want to offset without copying it assuming i want to offset this line without copying it then i'm going to uncheck this then it will only move it and not copy it take for instance i have a cycle And I want to offset this cycle at 2 to 5. And I don't want it to have a copy. You can see it will offset without copying it. Alright. Okay. Then the next we'll look at is copy. Copy is as the name implies. So what I'm going to do is to select copy then if i select the item i can right click and select finish then i'll just pick and drag it and place it at where i want it to be if i want it to be at a specific distance then i'm going to type like 3000 mm and press enter or alternatively you can select the item first before you go to copy and you will now place it at where you want to place it okay as mean i want to copy multiple items so i'm going to select it and select copy then i'm going to select multiple on the option bar and i'm going to be placing it at where i want to place it then if i want it to be constrained take for instance i want to copy this wall and i want it to be constrained then i'm going to select copy i'm going to check this constraint then in that case it will be constrained to a specific axis so that it will go where you want it will not it, it will be at right angle or straight line okay then the next one we'll look at is move 
move is as the name implies take for instance i want to move this wall from here i'm going to select it and hit move so i'll move it at a specific distance like 4000 mm okay i think that is done then the next one we'll look at is rotate if i want to rotate this wall i'll select the wall and i'm going to select rotate i'm going to type the dimension i'm going to type the angle take for instance at 90 i'll press enter then assuming i want to rotate it at 45 degree and i want it to have a copy then i'm going to select at 45 i'll press enter it has rotated it but with a copy i think that is gotten then the next thing i want to show is align align now align work as the name imply let's let's say i want this, these two walls to be on the same line so i'm going to i'm going to i will use align and pick a line then pick the axis and click and it will be aligned and for instance i want these two to be aligned i'll pick the axis and hit where i want it to go all right then the next one is trim at corner trim slash extend to corner and this work at a corner so for instance i want this two wall to join at a corner so i'm going to pick this stream and like that i want these two to join together okay so that is how it works i think The next one we'll look at is delete. Delete is very common if you are used to computer. Just select and hit delete. Or you select and hit delete on your keyboard and it will be deleted. You can't take your time on going to this or you use shortcut. The shortcut is DE and it will be deleted just select it de to be deleted all right thank you for watching this video this is the much we can take in this video and see you in the next video bye